Come here, Captain Hurin. And this bag of gold. We placed a bounty after the behemoth attack. It's yours now. Now, guard, find a tree and hang Captain Hurin. What? Rig, what the hell are you doing? Captain Hurin has made up for his mistake, and the behemoths that attack the warehouse have been felled. He... He is still a deserter who left his post, after all. Thanks to him, the supplies of an entire freight depot were destroyed. Those were our supplies for winter. When winter arrives, many people will starve and freeze, and that's not something a behemoth's blood can make up for. Guard, do it! Right! General, rangers need good fighters, and Hurin has proven his ability. Turn him over to rangers and let him join the fight against behemoths. I don't think your Grand Master will allow you to turn your chapter of rangers into an asylum for criminals. Then let him use the rest of his life to make amends. Please let him join the rangers and die in battle against the behemoths, rather than on a gallows. Your life has been saved, Hurin. You may thank these two rangers for saving you. I now send you into exile for life. You will have to spend the rest of your life in the wilderness and shall never set foot into Avalon. But my wife and my children, my family... They will be taken care of. If your wife wants to, she can carry your child to the walls of Avalon at any time. When you look at the top of the wall from the wilderness, you will see them. I understand, my lord. It is a great gift. I dare not ask for more. I'm not a captain anymore, but thanks to you, I have survived. Miss Edith, please let me serve the chapter of Rangers. Live, and then you can see hope.